Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing ratios. This is standard 6.4e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this rectangular model made up of squares, and each square is of equal size, which means we can look at this as a fraction. And remember that fractions are also a different way of representing ratios. So we need to look at the shaded squares. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure out how many we have in each column. Let's go ahead and just do columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. See, that's why we count. Because if it's, if it's a normal grid, that might look like a hundredths grid, but it's only 8 down. So we count, and if not 10, it's going to be 8. So we can say that's another 8. That's another 8. That's another 8. And then I've got 1, 2, 3, Three, four. All right, so I've got 8 times 4 plus another 4. So let's do 8 times 4 plus 4. So that's going to be 32 plus my 4. And that's going to be 36. All right, so I've got 36 shaded squares. Now what I need is to find the total. Because if I want to do my percentage, I'm going to need a fraction, which is another way of representing a ratio, and it needs to be my shaded over my total. So these are rows of 8, so I'm just going to count how many are columns of 8. Let me count how many columns we have. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I've got eight times ten. That's easy, that is a fact. That is eighty. All right, so eighty is my total, and I've got thirty six shaded. So I can look at it if I want as thirty six eightieths, or ratio would be thirty six. 80. How do we turn that into a percentage? Well, there is a slow way, and there, there's a way that might be a little bit faster. Let's try the slow way. When in doubt, you can always turn any, any, any fraction into a decimal, which is easy to turn from a decimal into a percent, simply by dividing up. So, not that it's something that we do often, but let's divide 80 into 36. This is kind of the slow way, because that's obviously going to be 0. And now we've got to get into our decimals. And we're going to add a 0, and 80 goes into 360. Let me just look at my 8 and my 36. 8 goes into 36 four times. That's going to be 8 times 4 is 32, so eight times, 80 times 4 is going to be 320. So we're going to do 4, 0, bring down another 0. We can keep adding zeros until we get what we need. 80 goes into 400, well, 8 goes into 40, 5 times. Looks like that's going to be even. And so that's going to be 400. And there we go. So it looks like I've got 0.45. Another thing we could do, if we wanted to, we could take our 36 80ths. We could try to reduce it, right? We could try to find, see if that helps. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So they're both even, so let's do 18, or let's divide by 2s. We're going to get 18 over 40, even again. Divide by 2s. We're going to get 9 20ths. kind of helps us. We can multiply by 5s. It's going to get 45 over 100. Either way, you're going to move the decimal twice. Answer is 45%.